Good day everybody, here we are on All Season Adventures. Last week we took the XR200R and as per normal we're going through the fleet still. So, uh, this week we are taking the 06 CRF 450X. Fortunately, I was hoping to put it on the back of the F2 F150 here. Well, as you guys can see, I don't have a receiver to put my little dirt bike carry on there, so... Oh yeah, by the way, I did get a new cap, so... Show sure, you guys, uh, slowly been putting some stuff that's gonna have to go in there and then eventually we'll make uh, some stuff, uh, cabinets and what you know, in the bed and in here. I need a little bit of a uh, fiberglass repair there and need a new lash, needs a little bit of TLC, but bit by bit we'll get her done, so. Okay, got all that sorted out, so it should be a little bit more quiet now. These are the parts that we used to have, so yeah, flanges just ripped off, so just put a little joiner piece of pipe and that should work for till more stuff rots out. It's not a new truck, so anyhow, uh, I'm gonna pack up the truck now and next time you guys will see me will probably be after work tomorrow. It is Monday. I kind of like that school night camping that we did last week, so uh, load up the CRF and then uh, tomorrow morning head off to work and all my groceries and stuff that I need for tomorrow, go to work, then tomorrow after work, go find a camp spot and enjoy the rest of the evening. So I'll see you guys in a few seconds. Good afternoon, again here we are, all season adventures and uh, just finished my work day, so here I am behind Barron Canyon Road, going ready to hit the trail and uh, Find a spot to camp. Got a good idea where I'm gonna go, but uh, yeah, plan is get there, offload the CRF. Uh, probably gonna do a little bit of exploring because I want to wrecky a few camp spots for the possible future. But uh, as far as future, that reminds me one thing I gotta tell you guys. Uh, pretty interesting day at work, but uh, show you a little driving montage to get to the camp spot, and then I'll tell my story. So anyhow, without further ado, let's get that driving montage going. Cheers. Okay, ma'am, I think we got ourselves a nice little camp spot. You can tell there's a fire pit there, another fire pit over there, bunch of little wood. We should have no issues fighting ourselves some firewood. Uh, bit of a shooting range. I did bring my crossbow, so hopefully we can shoot a crossbow. I got something I want to try out for you guys later on. Uh, not sure how it'll work, but I'm kind of intrigued on uh, breaking up a glow stick, pouring some glow stick material on my arrows, shoot the target, see if you can see it. I don't know. We'll find out if it does some cool uh, filming stuff or not. But uh, another little thing I want to talk to you guys. If you guys go shoot at pits like this, please, please pick up after yourselves, man. It gives us shooters a bad name. But uh, anyhow, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I did mention about my day today, uh, how much... Uh, uh, I got some news that will affect my channel a little bit, maybe. Not sure how much. But anyhow, I have been told that I am going on my course. Uh, mentioned you guys a while back. I'm gonna go go take a little wrench turning course where I'm going to be about five hours away from home. Once I get there, I gotta because of all this COVID stuff. I gotta stay there. I'm gonna be stuck there on camp and uh, can't go anywhere. So I'm hoping I can still camp in the back. Uh, I plan on taking the 84 F-150, the old Beaster, well, this is Beaster truck, but I'm gonna have to come up with a name with the 84. Learned how to drive on it. I don't know, if you guys got any cool names, let me know down below. Tan machine, tan, I don't freaking know. But anyhow, yeah, I gotta get that rig all ready, as good to go. 
build a house out of that. Anyhow, enough about that. Time to offload, set up camp. I'll get back to you guys. Uh, also gotta change the oil on the CRF before I go riding, so go through that with you guys. So anyhow, a few things to do. CRF riding, oil change, uh, crossbow shooting with glow stick on it. Anyhow, just so you guys know what's going on. So anyhow, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Cheers. Well, here we are. Not a bad little camp setup if I say so myself. Uh, it's giving like a low of plus two, plus one, maybe even zero. It was snowing a bit earlier. But now, uh, I'm not sure if you guys noticed. Got a big Amazon box. I said I'm uh, slowly trying to get the F-150 ready. I said the Ranger, that's the cottage. The F-150 is going to be the house. And uh, so, uh show you guys what I got in here. It's like that cottage, you don't need to be crazy, crazy comfortable. But a house, you definitely need to. So that's my clue for what's in here. Okay. A box inside a box. You gotta love when they do that. Yeah. Here we go. Got ourselves a mattress. Not gonna lie, it definitely looked bigger in the, the advert, but uh, put in the tent and see what it looks like. Well, there she be. She's a. Uh, I don't know, a couple inches thicker or so. Uh, I was expecting thicker, but uh, we'll put it to the test tonight anyhow. But it should be more comfortable than a tiny little foam mess that I got in the back of the truck. And now time to move on to the next thing, which will probably be the oil change. Cheers. Okay, first thing I always recommend before uh, changing your oil, warm up the bike. So, had a nice little bike ride. Bike's all warmed up. Got my drain pan. Oh, there goes my cap. There we go. It's been a while, hopefully I remember which one to unscrew. Should be this fella here. Well, coming up, that's a good thing. And one thing too, I always suggest that uh, whenever you change your oil, change your oil filter. Uh, this is one of those do as I say and not as I do. Uh, I was sure I packed one in the truck yesterday, but unfortunately I cannot find it. So, uh, ideally, new filter, new oil change. In this case, uh, I really, really want to go riding bad, so just gonna change the oil. It'll be good enough. Well, I'm sure someone can tell me it's not good enough, but uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna do an oil change before too long, and next time we'll get the filter in. So, anyhow, ah, there we go. All I do, drain the oil. Once that's all drained, actually, we're gonna cook our supper. Put that drain throughout the entire supper time. And hold on a second. I'm gonna leave my quart of oil on top of the seat so that way I know better not to just go start the bike and take off. So anyhow, time to go cook some supper and get my pre-workout meal in because dirt bike riding will be the workout. Next, we just gotta fill our oil fill, our oil, and yeah, we're in the hash marks of the dipstick. And uh, I know there is another oil to drain on the other side transmission. Like say we're lazy. This is not how to do things properly. We're in the bush, changing our oil. I'm happy with that. But uh, properly, when we get back, hopefully next week, change the other oil. That I'll do that on my own.
I gotta say that wasn't too too bad. A nice, nice trip with the CRF. I gotta say, last week I said the XR200 is a fun bike. Well, mind you, that one did cost me closer to three thousand dollars, twenty-five hundred dollars more or so, but uh, a little bit more than six hundred or so. But I gotta say, that's one fun ride. But anyhow, it's time for a post-workout meal. If you guys remember from last time, rice cakes, natural peanut butter. And next time you guys will see me, we'll probably have a nice fire going. So anyhow, talk to you guys in a bit. Cheers. Okay, I did mention earlier that we're going to shoot the crossbow and I'm going to try to put some glow stick, just regular plain old glow sticks. Got an orange one over there for my target and got a new one that I want to pour over my arrows and see what kind of effect it will, it will have. Let me know if you've tried this and comment down below. Okay, no idea what that'll be when it gets darker, but you know what? We're gonna find out. Stay tuned, uh, I'll show you guys in a few seconds as you guys are watching this. Cheers. Hmm, that went a little bit funny. Let's go see what we got here. Oh, yeah, we lost our main uh, tail wing here. Notice that she went a uh, little bit wonky as we took off. Anyhow, I can't see much of the glow stick. Uh, must be something with the outside or something, but uh, yeah, that didn't work very good. Actually, I do know what I'm going to try next. I know I won't, I'll lo completely lose my accuracy, but I'm going to try something. Hold on a bit. Okay, attempt number two. We got an arrow with a glow stick at the end. Will it work? I have no idea. If you know, let me know down in the comments. But anyhow, let's give this a shot. I can guarantee one thing, it ain't gonna be very accurate. Let's just hope I hit the target. We'll see what we got. Well, I know it definitely wasn't accurate because I had my target not as far from here, just maybe 15 yards or so, and I had to walk. I, I walked uh, a little while in the bush before I found my arrow, but uh, glow stick's still on there. Just accuracy, not the best. Maybe we'll try again at some other point, but uh, not sure if you guys can tell or not. Right now, it's actually starting to snow, so never know what kind of weather we're gonna get up here. So, talk to you guys in a bit. Cheers. Well, let's go see how we did. So yeah, as you can see, I kind of rolled target, but uh, one, two, that would have been the, that would have been the first one, then the second one, and then three, four, as she rolled over. Anyhow, still good, fun target practice. So anyhow, for now, I'm just gonna hang out by the fire and then probably go to bed before too, too long. So uh, have yourselves a good night, like you know I will. Cheers. Oh, good morning everybody. Yeah, I see that old bladder alarm clock waking me up again. Gotta go up and pee. It's 6.40 in the morning, so it is time to get up have a breakfast anyhow. So, uh, meet you guys outside, have a breakfast, wrap that up, and get out rolling to work. So, uh, talk to you in a few seconds. Cheers.
just a nice little breakfast, uh, eggs, oatmeal, saving my uh, orange for later. But uh, yeah, I gotta say, successful camp trip. Uh, no dirt bike crashes, so that's always a good thing. Gotta say that CRF 450, she's a blast. Whether you get the X or R, R would have a little bit more power, but the X has more than enough power for me. So uh, let's do, we got to shoot the crossbow a little bit, a little bit of experimentation. Uh, kind of had a feeling that uh, outside casing of the glow stick is helps with the glowing effect and therefore when you pour it on the arrows kind of lose its effect and then the taping the glow stick on the arrow I had a feeling that was gonna fail too just because well they're kind of balanced a little bit so when you put a glow stick that's pretty much the same weight as the arrow not quite good a plan so I would have shot some more to experiment but uh probably took me like 15 minutes to find that last one so they're not the cheapest so I gotta say overall I had a blast great successful camping trip and uh, like I mentioned earlier going on course before too too long so not sure exactly what the direction of all season adventures is going for now but uh definitely not over just yet so even if we take a break we will be back that's for sure but uh not leaving just yet still got a little while before we take off and I do plan on showing you guys my uh, truck house build with the F-150 so uh, that should be interesting so I don't know, I'll probably toss that in the camping trip for now on but anyhow uh, as per normal thanks for watching I uh, hope you guys enjoyed until next time remember to live everybody and cheers